Hello, and welcome to Brad Appetit. Today on Brad Appetit, I will be eating and reviewing some snacks that were sent in by Santa Claus. That's right. I have some leftover stocking candy, and we're going to be digging into these in a second. But first, let me tell you about what's happening this week, because we just have a few more days left in this year. New Year's Day is on Thursday, I believe. So... Should be a fun week. Um, we're all trying to play a little catch up because we're about to start recording our end of the year award videos. Now, uh, Crispy is going to be playing in place of Nolan tonight, starting about 8 p.m. Central Time. He's going to be uh, playing some games that, again, he wants to get further into before he can finalize his top 10 list. He maybe plans to play some more Banner Saga. I think he mentioned something about Wasteland 2 um, and possibly even maybe like the Talos Principle or whatnot. On Tuesday, we're going to have the podcast at the usual time, 8 p.m. Central Time. As normal, we're going to be talking about all the games we've been playing. Again, catch up. Um, I started playing the Talos Principle, and that game's fucking cool, but I'll go into details on the podcast. And, of course, afterwards, Terror Tuesday. It's going to be a fun one. Now, on Wednesday, on New Year's Eve... I'm probably going to be playing something Wednesday evening. Now, I might be doing some Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light with the lady, or I might be playing some more Talos Principle, or I might finally finish up Dragon Age, but I'll be playing something um, to ring in the new year. Now, on Thursday, thurs Thursday, starting about um, 8 p.m. Central Time, rolling with Nolan. Nolan's probably going to be playing. You know, I messaged him. And he never quite got back. But I imagine Nolan's going to be playing some of those games that he wants to play a little bit more of this year before he does his top 10. Like probably, probably Legend of Grimrock 2. Let's just go ahead and volunteer that one for him. Um, and uh, that's going to be Thursday. Friday, Nick at Night. Nick's going to be returning to his his uh, Silent Hill series run-through. He's going to be starting Silent Hill Downpour um, I think he's probably going to like alternate, maybe do Silent Hill uh, one week and then Persona 4 the other week possibly. But that's going to be starting around 7 p.m. Central Time. So tune in for that. And on Saturday evening, I'll be playing some more Vigi games from, you know, 2014. Because i got to get some stuff done. i got to get done so 2015 can start and I can, you know, dip my balls back into the Witcher games and all that gravy stuff. So let's dig in and see what we got here for uh, for Christmas. Now, this thing wasn't in my stocking. Somebody sent this in. These are TV dinner gumballs. Now, there was no note as to who sent it in, but I'm pretty sure pretty sure that it was actually Chris Davis cuz he's a jerk. Last week he sent me the wasabi candy. He didn't put a note in there, but he told me afterwards like it was like lo 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 lo. He probably sent me these too cuz he's a dick. But um I'll double check for a, a note after this and I'll put it in the details if I'm wrong but it's probably Chris fucking Davis I'm just gonna eat one of these just because uh, you know why the fuck not or actually maybe I'll save these for last because it's gum right what else do I have in here okay this thing was in my stocking I haven't tried this it's it's a Nestle walnut whip I don't even know what it is but it sounds pretty good I do like walnuts walnuts I feel like they're a good they don't get enough representation. Wow, it's like a little mountain of chocolate, and I think it burst open. Okay, it has walnuts on it. It's like a mountain of poo. And it has a white cream on the inside. Oh, that is weird. Kind of like a Cadbury egg or something. Interesting. I'll have to finish that one later. Tastes kind of walnutty. What else do we got? Mm. I got some zots. Some cherry zots. These things are pretty good. They're like all fizzy and shit. They have fizzy stuff. In the center. Let's see one of these. There's a QR code on the back. Maybe one of you could zap it. Can you get it? Can you get it? Ah, you probably can't get it. Let's see one of these. Oh. 
Oh, this one burst open. All the fizzy stuff is coating the candy. Glad I'm eating all this candy. I went to the dentist today. Fuck you, dentist. Uh, what else we got? What else do we have in here? Oh, we got some of these. Some Lint Hello Caramel Brownies. Brownie candy. Well, now I'm eating a Zot. So I don't know how I'm supposed to eat these. I gotta be honest with you, I hate most of this candy. Some of this shit is not even... Here's a, a sucker with a penguin on the top. I'm guessing it tastes like a candy cane. Kind of a... Kind of a gummy penguin. We'll save that one. What else do we got? We got some candy cane Hershey's bars. We got some... Oh, here's a, a blow pop. We got some... Giardelli Peppermint Bark Squares. These things are kind of the bomb. We got some more Zots. Ooh, I kind of reached this peanut butter cup. I need to finish this Zot. All right, we got to pick and choose. I'll try one of these caramel brownie things and uh, one of these TV dinner gumballs. Ugh, that's sour. Not like super sour, just kind of a weird tart, fizzy sour. Mm. Hey, bro, do you like Zots? What do you think about Zots? He likes them. All right. Let's try one of these Lint Hello Caramel Brownies. Now, it actually just looks like a piece of chocolate, but maybe it has. Oh, wow. Nuts caramel. A little bit of a crunch. These things are pretty good. You know, Lint makes really good chocolate, but you always find them in those, those big balls. I'm not a fan of the balls. But the chocolate's good. Just don't know why everybody likes to pop balls in their mouth. Anyways, let's try one of these TV dinner gumballs. Now, it says on here it's a three course feast. You got buttered corn, roast beef, and apple cobbler. Kind of like in uh, Willy Wonka. But these are different colored. Gumballs now. I see yellow. I guess that's the corn. I think that's brown and then there's green. Is the apple cobbler green? I would have expected red or, or orange or something. Green's a little weird. Let's try the corn. Butter corn. Ugh. Ugh. Tastes like corn. Kind of buttery. I'm kind of getting a, actually a buttered popcorn jelly bean flavor. Which that's the worst jelly bean. Ugh. I'm just gonna spit it out into this can of wasabi candy. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh, ugh, God. Yeah, it definitely tastes like butter popcorn jelly beans. All right, let's try the brown one, which I'm guessing is roast beef. Man, that's just gross. God damn it. It kind of tastes like the gravy candy. Ugh. Well, you can't go wrong with apple cobbler, which is green. This better not be green peas. Ugh. I 
I mean, I guess it's kind of just like apple candy, but I hate apple candy. People that like sour apple candy are the devil. This just tastes like apples. And just as gum, it kind of sucks. Kind of a tough chew. Anyways, that's it for my Christmas. I hope y'all had a good Christmas. And I hope everyone has a happy new year. Again, tune into the broadcast. Crispy's going to be playing tonight, so click over. We're probably live. And um, make sure you watch me on... Wednesday and on Saturday. Y'all have a good week.